everything. Oh, you're talking Trump? You're talking, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I have 20, have, we'll start at 20. I have been told by Disney, don't do anything. Don't use your voice as Jack, except as Jack with us. Otherwise, watch it. There's Disney yeah, sniper. They own, they 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 own fire your voice. slips at you. Yeah. Um, so, and I know, I know uh, personally um, that Ken, you just recently did some uh, voice work for uh, the Villains Unleashed event that's held right down the street at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Uh, 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 tell us a little bit about that most recent session that you did. That was uh, just a couple months ago, I think. Yeah, it was a couple months ago. Well, I luckily because of the technology that exists. I live in St. Louis now, most of the time, and uh, the first time something came through to do, they thought I was in California, and I said, well, I'm not in California. But they were able to patch into a studio, make a long story short there, and they're on the phone, and I'm in the studio in St. Louis, and we record that way, and it's as if they were there, and they go, good morning, Ken, hi, we're in Burbank. I go, good morning, everybody. <laughs> and then we record. So this last session was like that. And um, they said what they were doing. And, and I re-recorded a little bit of the song. Not the whole song, but a little bit of it. Which I had already done, oddly enough. I said, why are you doing this again? We already did it. They said, well, we may want to do something different. Blah, 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 whatever, you know. Give me the paper. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, it's simple. I mean, we just did it. I mean, it wasn't any different than any of the other sessions that answered the question. It was just some more lines and some more specific things as to what they were doing at the park. And of course, the director was on phone as well, and he knew what the action and the play would be. So that was the idea to meet what they were going to do. And I, I don't know, I don't remember if you recall, uh, recall this, but I, I spoke with Rob, who was one of the writers, and Tony, mm -hmm. who's the director for it. Um, he said that you had a couple suggestions of alternate, like Boogie Boogie wouldn't say it like that. Yes. Uh, kind of stuff. Do you recall? Well, I, you know, absolutely I do. Because I think as it's gone down the line, people have their own ideas about who these characters are. And not that I may know better than they do, but I know in the realm of what his mentality is, if you will, things that they've written that they'd like to hear him say that aren't necessarily in his, what they call it, wheelhouse, of what he really would say. So there were only a couple, two or three lines. I said, well, you know, can we change the lines so that it's actually in his uh, vernacular, so that it's in his vocabulary, because they had written out of his vernacular vocabulary. I'm just saying. So, Did they give you writing credit? Pardon? Did they give you writing credit? Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah we, get, we all get a piece of every little piece of right. conversation we did. Not. 